Hi everybody and welcome back to the Upside Dan. So I got to see Avatar The Way of Water in 3D 40X and I'm here to tell you if it's worth it in those formats. It's not a Christmas movie, I'm just wearing a Santa hat. I didn't want to do my hair. Um, anyway, is Avatar The Way of Water worth it in 40X? Before we get started, please make me your 40X guy. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the new 40X content coming in 2023 and beyond. So first, before I answer if it's worth it in 40X, I just want to get you my quick thoughts on the actual film. I'm a huge fan of the first Avatar. I think that it's more than just amazing visuals, which it does have. I honestly think that Avatar and this Avatar, like they're almost unbeaten in the visual department. Like there's not many films that ever look like this. The visuals here are absolutely mind blowing yet again. And honestly, I think groundbreaking, just like the first one was groundbreaking I think this one is also groundbreaking you feel like you're there I don't think I could get better visuals if I was actually in the ocean you don't know where the visuals start and where the real people and the real sets begin it's so hard to tell they all look so real I did like the story I was fine with the runtime I didn't feel the length too bad I wasn't really bored per se I do though think it should and could have been shorter and some of my nitpicks are with the story and the script the new characters at times I did like them for the most part there were some compelling things with them but I honestly though I sometimes Sometimes didn't feel just an overwhelming connection to these characters new or old to be honest in this I did appreciate though the family dynamic and the focus on family I think that that was really good I loved the new creatures the new sites Pandora is just I love Pandora I love exploring it I it's hard to leave to be honest and I'm glad that these sequels aren't going to come out 13 years later. The action scenes, especially the ending, the third act is very satisfying to me, especially with the way the story and the villains, what they've done. And I thought that it was truly satisfying and I liked how it ended. I was personally okay with how it ended and I'm looking forward to the future installments. So anyway, let me start with the 3D. The 3D is immaculate. The 3D for the first Avatar and this Avatar are just mind blowing, just as mind blowing as the visuals, they go hand in hand. They're by far the best 3D that I've ever seen. So you already have an immersive movie without 3D and then you add 3D you have an even more immersive movie then you add 40x and you have an even more immersive movie so it's just amazing the, what the 40x technology the 3D technology and just the visual departments can do just like I said in my first avatar video on the 40x experience you know when they're flying on the banshees you you just feel like you're flying along Pandora with them and it's the same here there, there's banshee stuff but there's also the new water creatures so when they're swimming underwater you get good use of the seat motions and you get you good use of water spraying at you and everything it's not as much as i expected don't expect to get like soaking wet because if they use the water every time water was on screen we drown in the theater but great uses of the water great uses of the air the wind there are some scents like i said there's sometimes scents and in, in some theaters have different capabilities there is a scent that i notice a lot when i'm in 40x that i use that i actually just thought it was the air or the water but i think that they did it on purpose like when there's an outside nature scene or something so there's stuff like that and the action scenes are just perfect with these seats the seats are moving everywhere and you're there's this one part i mean the, every time they're swimming underwater it's fun very fun and there's this one part when a character is riding you know the whale-like creature that you've seen in the trailers and the promotion and he tells the you know the creature to go faster and the creature does and it's it's a quick thing but it felt like the seats sped up with it and of course those action scenes they're just satisfying anyway you feel like you're in on the action seats are moving you feel punches in the back you, f you feel pops of air blowing at you lights go off when something explodes or when gunshots go off there was a lot of use of fog in this one sometimes they don't use fog at my location sometimes they do there was a few scenes when fog would shoot up in front of the screen and nothing that blocks the screen like that you can't see what's going on so if you can't tell yes i think 3d is worth it but i also think 40x is worth it for this film if you were planning on doing a 40x movie or you've wanted to to do one but you just haven't found the right movie and you're willing to spend this extra money $23 about I think that it's worth it I think you should try it for this one I think you should do 3d 40x and be truly immersed into this movie even if you didn't like this movie or if you don't think you're gonna like it I think that it's worth seeing for these visuals if you're a movie fan or a casual fan or if you just kind of like the first one I think definitely see it for the visuals like this is when I think 3d is worth it this is when I think 40x is worth it in a truly already immersive film so I definitely recommend it don't forget to make me your 40 x guy subscribe to me make me the 40x guy make me your 40x guy and i can keep bringing you the 40x content throughout 2023 and beyond if you've liked what you've seen here and you want to see some more content from me please click around here to see some more content from me please like this video comment on this video share this video with the movie fans in your life hit that notification bell subscribe make me your 40x guy and come to the upside dan